Hey guys, welcome back. Happy Friday. Um, I wanted to do the top five foundations tag and so I pulled out my favorite foundations and I'm going to talk about those. Um, my first one that I'm, I love the most is the Makeup Forever Matte Velvet and I use number 70. Um, this one has pretty much um, taken the place of my MAC um, Studio Fix Fluid. I wore that for a long time, for years. And I just pretty much, I'm just sick and tired of MAC and after a while I noticed that the MAC foundation seemed to break me out and um, it seems to do that for a lot of people. So I wanted to um, slowly start um, weeding out MAC foundations. So um, this one is really good. It has great coverage. It's buildable and it leaves the skin very matte. I don't really like a dewy finish so this is perfect for me and I do get oily throughout the day in the, the T-zone area. So um, this one really helps with that and um, it's a really good foundation. Um, second, my second favorite would be the Urban Decay Naked Skin. This one I wear in a number 8.0 and this one has like a demi matte finish and I like this because it's really really lightweight. You don't feel like you're wearing makeup. Um, it looks like that without the top on. And um, yeah, it's a demi matte finish and it's just lightweight and it is buildable and um, it comes in a lot of colors that I like too. Um, third would be the YSL Touche Clot. Um, I like this one also. The finish I would say is somewhere between um, somewhere between dewy and demi matte. And um, this one's also buildable and I wear it in the color, I think it's B70. Yeah, B70. Um, nice foundation, it is pricey, but um, I like this one a lot also. Um, fourth would be the Becca Radiant Skin Foundation. This one has a satin finish. Um, it's also buildable. Nice foundation, comes in a lot of colors. Um, I found out about this one through the samples that I get from, like when I shop at Sephora, you know how you can click and pick what samples you want? Um, I would always pick these because these are nice to put in my kit. So um, that's how I found out about that one. Aren't these cute? Perfect for your kit, like just to have extra foundations on hand. The last one I'm going to talk about is the RCMA Keyhole Palette. I keep this in my kit. It's pretty much what I go to most of the time when I'm working with clients. Um, this one isn't used up that much. I had another one previously, but used it all up. Um, mine is messy, so forgive me, but um, these are just really great. They give really, really good coverage. You can share them out um, if you want to or build them up. They look great on camera. Um, big range of colors. They have other palettes, not just this one. Huge range of colors, great coverage. Just the perfect thing to have in your kit. I'll, all you need to carry is like a metal spatula. Um, I don't have one on hand, but a metal spatula. Scrape some out, put it on a palette, and um, you know, use your brush to apply it or your sponge. Good stuff. So those are my favorites. Um, tell me what your favorites are. I'm always looking to try something new. I like to try new foundations. So um, leave in the comments what you use, and um, maybe I'll pick it up and try it. So until then, um, you guys have a great Friday, have a good weekend, and thanks for watching. Bye.